my name is Edson Oliveira and I'm presenting this video for dnnhero.com on understanding some advanced options when you're creating a new page and you adopt that new website. So here we have our test website. Let's log in as admin or host. Let's go for host this time. And here I can click on the control panel and create a new page. This is my temp page. And if we scroll down, all the way down under advanced settings, and I want to focus on this part of the advanced settings, under other settings. So the first setting that I want to talk about is uh, secure. So this is disabled right now. Uh, secure means that it's asking if this page is running under a secure uh, URL, secure SSL certificate, but it's disabled here. Why it's disabled? Because the site is not set up to run with uh, with an SSL certificate. Now, to make this available, we can go to admin, site settings, and I will not go too deep into the SSL certificate right now, but I just want to briefly mention about that. Advanced settings, SSL settings. So let's just for the sake of, of, of checking that option, let's click SSL enabled. Let's update the site. Let's go back and create a new page. This is our temp page. So hopefully we have that option available for us now. So we do have. So secure now, I can check or uncheck depending if this page is under a secure URL, a sec uh, an HTTPS or not. Um, sitemap priority, this goes from 0 to 1 and this will tell uh, if this page has a, a higher priority than the other pages of the website. I have explained uh, this option here in a, in a previous video when I was talking about Google Sitemap. Now, start date and end date. Basically, I would say that we rarely use this option, but uh, this is basically a way that you can make a page available uh, from within a time frame. So you can say, uh, you know what, uh, today is May 2nd, I just want this page to be available on May, I don't know, May 4th. And I can put an end date if I want that uh, that page to, to be, uh, to expire, or I can just leave end date open, blank, so this page will start showing on May uh, 4th and it will never uh, hide again automatically. But I can put as well uh, an end date, so let's say I want it to be visible for a week, so this will basically show this page uh, for the duration of a week. So that's what that's what we why we use start date and end date. Now link URL. This option gives quite a, a lot of uh, flexibility to our, to our main use to our page in .NET Nook. The standard one is, and, and the default one is none. None means that uh, this is a regular page in your uh, .NET Nook website. This is a page that you're going to put content, modules, all that you want. I mean, the, the regular page that we, that we know in .NET Nook. Now, we still have three other options. URL. Basically, this is a URL for either an external site. I don't know, I can put it google.com. And what will happen is that whenever I click in that menu, uh, I will be automatically directed to Google or to any other site that I want. But this can be also uh, an internal URL. Maybe uh, you have a, a complex URL. Uh, let's say we're talking about blogs and you have a complex URL with a lot of parameters. Maybe you want to to have a, a very simple URL to link to a particular blog entry that you have posted. So you may want to, to copy the entire URL for your blog post with the different parameters and you can paste it here and you can have a very simple menu, let's say, uh, latest blog post, something like this. But bottom line is that URL, you can either point it to external resources or even to internal resources as well. And by resource, I mean it can be a page, it can be internal page or external page. Now, we also have uh, this, the third option here, which is page. We may want to create, for one reason or another, 
a, a link in the menu system uh, that will point to another page within the website. So when you select page, it comes up with a drop down of, uh, of all the pages on your website and you can select and you can say that, you know what, whenever someone clicks on my, I don't know, in our case, our temp page, it will direct the person to user profile or to, I don't know, search results or any other page that uh, my site may have. But bottom line is that the third option page will only allow you to select existing pages from within your website. Now, the, the, the last option is called file and it will allow you to select a file within your folder, uh, your site folder. So this option will be, th this, this menu will be linked to that file. Let's say you have a PDF file that you want to, to have a menu option that says download PDF. And so you can select file, specify which folder uh, the, 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 the file is located in, and you can upload a new file. Let's say, let's say here I have a PDF file I'm going to open. I'm going to upload selected file. This file was uploaded. So what will happen is that this menu system, sorry, this new menu, this new page that you're creating is not actually a page. It's just a link to a file within your website. And again, you can make something like a download file. So anytime that someone clicks on the menu that says download file, it will bring this particular PDF or any other file that uh, you may have in your site in your site for that matter. Okay, so those are the different link uh, URL options. Now, the, the the last option I want to cover is permanent redirect. This is uh, this is a, a just a different uh, way of calling the 301 redirect. So this is this is really a 301 redirect, and it it can only be used. For if you have selected one of those three options, either URL, page, or file, it, it won't uh, take effect if you select none. But basically, what will happen is that let's say that uh, we have uh, we have renamed uh, a page in the site. So, but we don't want to lose the juice, the Google juice that was built around that uh, that page already. So, what we can do is we can create a true and redirect from that page to a new page. So again, here in this case, we just have to select page, select what is the new page that we want to redirect from this page to that one and check re permanent, permanently redirect. Again, this will work as a 301 redirect. But uh, just to make it clear, this is a 301 redirect within a, the DNN site to a DNN site. So if, if you're moving uh, the, the, the site from, let's say, a PHP platform to a .NET platform, this is not the, the, the type of option that will cover that kind of 301. Uh, if, if you want something more complex, more sophisticated, that uh, you are bringing the site from another platform or from something that has a, a, a page that has many, many, many parameters in the URL, you may want to look for a more uh, sophisticated uh, 301 redirect module. And one example that I can give you is the Affinity URL master. I have I have it on snow, open on snow covered here. I'm gonna keep a link in the in the page of this post to the Affinity URL master. Very good module. One of those days I'm gonna uh, do a review of this module. But again, now I my the idea today was just to cover the advanced the other settings under uh, under the settings of a, of a page and so we have called secure secure sitemap start date end date link url and permanent redirect okay thank you very much bye